on August the 10th, uh, the demolition crews came in and took out everything old. It's all gone and everything you see now is all brand new. And so on the 13th of November, we opened uh, the brand new exhibit at the Carrywood Nature Centre and it's the first exhibit renovation we've done or the first major exhibit, exhibit renovation we've done since we opened the facility in 1986. We have people from all over the world living here. It's a much more cosmopolitan city than it was in 1986. And so um, we have to tell stories in different ways. We have to be able to talk to just you know, to everybody in the community um, on a common level. And, and, and the old exhibits didn't really do that. We talk about ecosystems as a whole. So we're talking about the river valley, we're talking about the plants and shrubs along the river bank, we're talking about wetlands, we're talking about woodlands. Um, we do talk about the plants and animals in those habitats, but more importantly we talk about how those plants and animals and those habitats work together and then form the greater environment of the Aspen Parkland, which is the, bio, the, the, the biological zone that we live in. Uh, we also took another departure in that we're now talking about environmental education and st sustainability education. So uh, we have a section of the exhibit that focuses on the City of Red Deer's environmental master plan and what's being done to implement that. Uh, we have a section of the exhibit that talks about um, in, people who in Red Deer's past have made uh, environmentally positive contributions back to the First Nations community through some of the early settlers like the Griegson family, um, right up to contemporaries, guys like Hal Carson who paddle the Red Deer River every day in the summertime and take tons of garbage out. Um, and so we're telling those stories as well. People are part of the system. We live in the system. Whether you if you never go for a walk on the trail, the mere fact that you get up and you breathe the same air and you're in the same trees as the animals around here and we live along the river, we use the same resources, that's why this, important, this, this exhibit is critical. Not only does it show how the habitats work together, but it shows how we work together with the habitats. Mm -hmm.